Good morning, Art Puffs. It's Miss Teagle. I'm here with my first official flip video for you. Um, this week, we're going to work on a few fun things that we can do outside because the weather's supposed to be really nice, and there's nothing more fun than to um, play outside and see how artistic you can be. Today, we're going to um, need just a few supplies, so let's go over it. Paper. If you have cardstock, you could use a piece of cardstock. Mine is blue here. That's all I have. But white paper is okay. And if you just have regular line paper from school, that's fine too. Um, you're going to need a pencil. You're going to need a sharpie. Um, if you don't have a sharpie, then a crayon or whatever you have that is dark. Like I've got a fat black sharpie too. You could do that. Um, I've got regular markers here. But you could use that. A crayon would work too. And you're going to need a pair of scissors. And then after that, you're going to need maybe some rocks or leaves or um, petals from flowers and things like that when we go on our walk outside to do our fun art. This project involves some of the things that we learned last, well, two weeks ago when we were drawing the human face. Do you remember when we learned to draw the eyes um, and you kind of started with that almond shape and you put some eyelashes on there and you were doing it in a very natural way. This time we're gonna have fun with it and do it in a cartoonish way. We also drew noses, we drew mouths, and you looked at mouths and drew them as perfectly as you can. Now we're gonna to learn to do it in a fun way. I want you to take your pencil and draw several sets of eyes. We're gonna talk about three sets of eyes. Three sets of eyes, alrighty? And I don't know if you'll be able to see what I'm doing here, but I'm going to draw two sets of eyes here. I'm going to give them some space in between. And because I know that we always have that eyelid, and I know that our pupils are not exactly completely exposed, we're going to have them hidden there. I'm going to make my irises right there. That's one set. And I may put some pretty eyelashes on there. you can see if not we will darken it up and I'm going to use my really fat marker right now so that you can see it I'm going to make my eye really fat there I'm going to be just like you and say that my supplies at home may not be perfect but we're going to make the best of what we have and um, let's see my eyelashes on this guy are going to go like that. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. And actually, my marker is drying out, so I'm going to switch to my Sharpie. And again, if you don't have this, then go with crayons, go with the markers. And if all you have is a pencil, you are smart kids and you can make it work. All right, so I've outlined everything here I want it to be in black and white because as I say we're going for a cartoon look and this is not exactly the way we studied how to do them two weeks ago all right so there's one set of eyes and that's how you know somebody might draw a set of eyes. Let's see. Let's see if the next one we can draw them in a different shape. Of course, these two are going to belong to each other. And maybe the next ones will just be um, kind of self-contained, but a different shape of eyes. Because uh, maybe you notice that eyes are not all the same. The different shapes that we have. Uh, I'm going to make a little tear duct there. And I'm going to put my big old pupils in there, but of course they're not big enough. And then maybe I'll make short stubby eyelashes. And I don't even have an eyelid on this. Did you notice that? And I'm gonna switch now to a different kind of marker. And I'm hoping that he's gonna be better. Well, he's not exactly better, but that's okay. It'll do. Alrighty. But I do think for the project that if we go back over this with the best marker or the best crayon or whatever we have, so that it will really show up because we're gonna go outside, 
where the sun is shining. And if we can't find sun shining, it was sun shining yesterday, but today it's not as great. So we may have to come up with an idea to do it inside. All right, so here are two sets of eyes and I've asked you to do three different, different kinds. So let's give it a surprise look. Let's see, let me go back with my pencil. And these eyes are just gonna be more like round eyes, like a little kid would draw. Alrighty. And iris in there and little kids would do this as well and it almost gives it the look of shock and I'm going to go back I'm going to turn it this way so you can see with my best pen here which is my good old sharpie All right, now I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna do the other set there for you. You can do that later on. All right, then I wanna draw some noses and lips. And again, um, really only maybe two noses and two lips because we wanna use some things that we'll find in nature to help us with this. So I'm gonna draw two type of Cupid bow lips. And you could look at that online if you want to see what Cupid's bows look like but they're those lips that are very pouty looking. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, and then maybe the next one I'm gonna make my mouth open like it's screaming. So I'm gonna draw a really big mouth. And it does not have to be perfect. I'm gonna outline it so that you can see it. Put my little divot there. And I'm gonna come back here And for old time's sake, let's put some of those little creases that we have in our lips. And these do not have to be perfect. I'm now gonna go back to my bag of markers. I'm gonna look for some kind of pretty red or pink. Do a little of both if I want to. I forgot to fill this guy in. All right, if we want to do some of our creases, we can. Whoopsie. He's at the wrong angle. It's all right. All right, let's color in this guy pink. That doesn't mean he has on lipstick. This could be a guy. And if I wanted to, I could draw that, um, the tonsil thing that hangs down from the back, I think it's actually called a uvula. So it looks like we're really seeing deep down into their mouth, like they're screaming at the top of their lungs. That would be funny. All right, and one nose. And I'm gonna do, um, all right, so remember, I hope when you were sketching that you draw the tip of the nose there well, I'll do it this way. And then I'm gonna draw my nostrils off to the sides. And I'm gonna make that U. And I'm gonna make that U on the other side. And then bring it like that. And that is a really gigantic nose in the midst of all of these. And that one looks more realistic. And then you can draw one that's very cartoonish. But you don't have to color him in. Can y'all see that? Okay. So, next thing you wanna do is cut all these out, but leave space around them. So, let me just show you one example. See that? All right, so I've got some space around my eye there. I'm gonna turn off the camera so that you guys can get all that done, and we're gonna go for a walk. Go on out and Put down your pictures where the sun is shining from behind you and create yourself a little silhouette with your eyes. Maybe grab a rock, a leaf or something that you can create for a nose and take pictures in the sunshine for me. You have to make sure that the sun is at your back.
What I'd like you to do is send me three different pictures using three different caricatures. Can't wait to see what you turn in.